has his universal vibes with a 411, 144. <sighs> Hold on, let me make sure that my volume's up. Hold on. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Before I get into this, this is just a collective um, subscribers only. Okay. Before I get into this, one of the one of the downloads that I received last week was, you know who your soul tribe is when they're saying and thinking on the same level as you. Not to say opinion, okay? Not to say this has nothing to do with politics or religion. Um, so I had an experience, and I asked why the experience happened through meditation. And the reason why it happened, um, so I had a coworker that I work with that I'm super connected to, right? Like, we think, we say the same crap, you know? It's almost like we finish each other's, like, thought form, you know? <laughs> like, it's crazy. So that morning, last week, I was thinking to myself, I was looking at this thing of coconut oil, um, organic coconut oil. Some people cook with it, but I put it in my hair and I use it on my body, you know, just because it absorbs very well and it's non-toxic. So I was thinking that morning before I went to work, I was like, well, I think I should put this in my hair because it's super dry up here in Alaska, you know? So your hair tends to like break off and, and all kinds of crap if you don't keep it moisturized. Back at the ranch here, I go to work, I don't do it because I'm like, no, my hair is going to look greasy. My girlfriend at work is like, hey, just to let you know, for the next two days, I'm going to have, I'm going to put coconut oil in my hair and it doesn't mean I'm not taking a shower. I'm just, I have to condition my hair. It was hilarious. It was cute. And I was like, what? Like I was thinking that right before I went to work and I was like, no, don't do it, Heather, because you're going to look like a grease ball. Okay. <laughs> so, so those type of things, that's my example. That's how you know who your soul tribe is, okay? Like who came in to help you with stuff. Um, and they will always be within a high vibe or bring you up to a high vibe, okay? So that's how you can notice them. And most people already feel the affinity with these people, okay? So just getting back to the message here. Okay, so for those of you who are having um, lower back issues, like in the lumbar region, um, there's spots on the body. Um, okay, so there's there's these spots that are right right here, like behind the nape of the neck. Okay, that you can work on. Um, yeah, I guess you could go get a massage or something, but um, I'm talking about like work on spiritually with color, okay? So whatever color resonates to you that makes you feel good. I always use blue when I'm doing something to my body, like when I'm doing energy healing on myself, um, like a really like violet type blue, okay? It's like purplish blue. Um, you can actually do that to those areas, but the reason why the lumbar is messed up is because there's something there's something with whatever's back there. I don't even know what chakras are back there. There are chakras behind the nape of the neck. Okay, so look that up. And um, that's where the tension's coming from. And so they're showing me somebody who holds their head down like this. So it's almost like um, the reason for the tension in the lumbar is because you're, you're just keeping your head down and you're not speaking up in life right or your posture could be and when your posture is like that it basically means that you have no self-confidence so you could work on that okay what else here so there's something that you're not doing with your hands okay so there's another uh, point in the body um, I don't I'm not I'm not a Reiki practitioner um, but maybe somebody's thinking about going into Reiki healing. And that would be beneficial. Because maybe maybe there's like some sort of tension because you're not using your hands, like you're not getting the energy out of your physical body. It's causing physical elements, okay? I'm not a doctor. Go to a doctor if you have a problem, okay? 
So there's that. Also, somebody, somebody, you need to be careful what you write down in your journal. You need to be grounded before you write in your journal. Um, and I would label journals. Uh, so one journal is for this, one journal is for that, one journal is for that, and you label it with the first page of the journal. Okay, so therefore you're not manifesting anything low vibe by default. Okay, so like for an example, if I have one journal, it's just going to be dedicated to that. And I can just say, hey, this is my journal of poetry, right? So everything in here is just me releasing um, anything poetic that um, could help the collective when I publish, right? So I am free in all time, space, time, all, all, all time, space, <laughs> dimension, and reality of whatever I write in this journal from experiencing if it's lower vibrational and not for my highest good, okay? So there's that, and you do it on the first page, right? I actually flip three pages in, I don't know why, and I do it on the fourth page. And I write my testimony, my, you know, for that journal. And so the next journal could be um, your releasing journal, right? Which is where you write down all your crazy freaking thoughts and, you know, anything that is low vibe. And you ask to be free from all these experiences in all time, space, reality, and dimension. Sign it. You can put a number of code on there. It doesn't matter. But that right there is a protection. Um, it, it's a protection from what you're writing down to occur and manifest in your life. That's all I have. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, the only time that I'm going to be doing uploads is when I feel good. Okay? So I'm not just going to um, get on here and upload. There is a post that I made it at. I'll upload that. That was just channeled messages. Um, so that should be before this one uploads. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys.